Well, hello there, humans of his earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Remember These Tanks. Uh, I'm just joking. It's not really about remembering these tanks. It's just, I was looking the other day at the tech tree, the new tech tree format that came out recently, and I realized that of all the tanks that I wanted to play, they were all mediums at tier 10, and they were all tanks that have been there since the beginning of the game. And it's not these lights. This is hilarious. I mean, look at these lights just lobbing bloody shells over the top at each other. I mean, <laughs> this is the silliest game now. Have a look at that. Like, these two just sit here walloping away. We've got two lights. They've got two lights. One of our lights goes across and ruins the entire game. Like, literally ruins the entire game by sitting on the right flank, unable to be hit by anybody and hitting their heavy tanks in the side and moving them off the hill and just giving me free reign. But that's not the story of this game. You can watch that happen and you can understand why missiles are the stupidest thing that Wargaming have ever put in Blitz. Um, but I was stunned that when I sat down and thought about it, I looked at the gameplay that I'd had that day. I realized it was an E50M, a T62A and the FV4202. And I was actually quite surprised that with so many tanks on offer, so many tier 10 vehicles to rock and roll in, that I was quite comfortable going back to the same three mediums that I played forever at the start of the game. Well, the 50M and the and the 62A obviously uh, were vanilla. They were there in the original. Um, for fun and, and frolic, I grabbed the, the old M48 pattern and I, I didn't really run that a whole lot. I... It just doesn't have the same kind of. I mean, it doesn't float me up and down. It doesn't make my, doesn't make my my socks roll up and down. And I can't help that. That's just all there is to it. But right now we've got what? Oh, I don't know. How many tier tens have we got? Forty. It's amazing how competitive the tier is. Uh, the the German tech tree, for instance, that the E50M is a part of, has a Leopard One, but it's also got uh, three different heavies. Uh, two different TDs. Um, so there's seven tanks just in the German tech tree. And there's another six in the American tech tree. And there's another six in the Russian tech tree. And there's four in the British tech tree. And there's soon to be two in the Japanese tech tree. Three in the Chinese tech tree. Three in the uh, French tech tree. And then we've got the Progetto in the Pan-European. And then you have on top of that, at tier 10, all the wargaming tanks and premium tanks like the M60, the Chieftain, the 121B, the T22 Medium. the like It's a really chockers tech tree with so many good vehicles. And yet, these tanks still really work. And they don't bear a whole lot of resemblance to the tanks that they were back in the day. Um, <laughs> did you see these? Like that poor E100 couldn't stay on that hill because every time he sat there and got his turret on its side, some guy who was behind rocks 250 meters away would send like a heat-seeking missile straight across and every once in a while it'd, it'd actually do damage and he would just bleed without being able to return fire. It's just the dumbest, dumbest thing uh, you could possibly do to what was a really cool game. And good on him. I thought he'd just given up, but he actually was focusing on me, and I deserve that. Alrighty. Yeah, these tanks have changed dramatically. Um, because we've had tanks like the 121B and the WZ-121 and all this turn up, and, and tanks that do a lot of what... Uh, for instance, you look at the FV-4202, and it's big trademark bomb is the hash round uh and then you look at a tank like the uh the wz series the the chinese tanks and you realize that they have a 420 alpha round the wz121 has a 420 alpha round and can use that round at 245 millimeters a pen for three and a half thousand damage um now that isn't quite the upside when the 4202 goes to its high pen round. It actually does 20% more damage, 4,100 and 24. But still, you can have 35 millimeters more pen and a round that does 20 less damage in a tank with a strong turret and a whole lot going for it. And yet, having played for so long, 
it has to be acknowledged that humanity has got a real soft spot for the emotional side of an experience. Just because I know that these tanks may not be the most OP tanks. I mean, I could drive a T-22 medium and I know it's probably a better tank than pretty much all these tanks. Um, it's certainly going to do crazy things all the time. What about this? Yeah, love that ISA. Um, yet, I drive this tank and... It's the same tank that I used to run platoons with, with Snake Eyes and Swiss Cheesel and Mr. Ouija and Aegon. And it's it's like, you know, I I had the best times in the game driving the T-62A, really, and living that meta. And so when I drive this tank, it's like putting on a second skin. It's like so comfortable and it doesn't matter that it is not the best tank in the game. It doesn't matter that the meta has changed so remarkably. I feel very confident and I know what I can do in this vehicle. Uh, whereas I don't get that same kind of thrill in a T-22 medium, even though I've got the tank in the garage. I drive anything else but generally. Um, it's also, if you're wondering why my name has changed, this has been a pretty amazing time to uh, have your kids at home um, and doing all this social distancing and isolating <laughs> junior has my old ipad and he loaded up world of tanks and just had a game and he decided to ch change the change the name of the tank to big chungus is me um change the name of the account and then he made he made a clan like the clan is great uh g-r-a-t-e and the it's great and then blur the motto is, we are good and you are not. And the description is, for sweats. I found that so amazingly funny. <laughs> and um, I hope you do too. This is never let your children near your account because they'll, uh, they'll wreck it. So I've got, I got like another 10 days before I can change that back, um, which is very, very frustrating. Uh, well... What are you going to do? And he also tipped me out of, like, the clan that all the boys are in. So I'm in my clan on my own. Great. Wonderful stuff. Uh, the big chungus is me. So if you've seen me rolling around playing like I've never really played a lot of World of Tech Splits, that'd be why. And the 62A remains just an absolute crowd favorite for me. The tank that I had the most trouble with uh, was the 4202, which is surprising because... Well, I mean, it's not surprising. Let's be honest. It's been power creep to crap. Like, as I mentioned, uh, you've got tanks like the T-22 Medium, the 121Bs, the WZ-121s, all these tanks and all these... Uh, I mean, it still has no turret armor. Like, it still has absolutely no turret armor. And the Hesh round is still so dodgy. But it's got a great gun. And I play this, and I remember playing it when it had a top speed of 40 kilometers an hour. And none of the bells and whistles that it has now, like it, it's been buffed a lot. And I loved it then. Like I really loved it then. I, you just go back and look at the reviews on it. And I used to love driving this tank when everyone else absolutely hated it. Um, and there was another guy on the Asia server who always used to do the same thing. It was it Matura, Matara? Um, he used to drive the 4202 into the ground as well. Uh, and... I used to love dueling that dude in 4202s. These are these are tanks that require an incredible amount of subtlety and precision at times. Not the E50M, obviously, but also nerf the grills gun. Like if you're a Hesh driving fool like I am, the grills gun is literally the thing that you have nightmares about. You hit the grills grud so often, unless you're being really sensible, you get really lazy. So I struggled uh, on the reunion tour to actually um, get the kind of response very quickly that I got out of the 62 and the 50. I'm like a couple of games in on those things and I got great games. It was worth, worth the footage when I had the um, the idea to do this video. It took probably about 10 games to get the footage on this one. And some of those games were really disappointing, but I still had a good time driving it. 
It just, it, of all the three tanks that I've shown today, this is a tank that has really been pushed into a backline sniper role. Uh, there are just too many things that can pan you and do massive damage to you now uh, out there. And you, it, it was, a, the pen seems to have gone up and up uh, in terms of like one eternity latest is a Jaegeru. Like, <laughs> just like, man, I've got. 2k damage, there is no, absolutely no reason for me to be pushing here. And uh, I'm very dubious about taking on a Jaegeru in that situation. I'm willing to take one right in the chest. Cool. Uh, there's a big dog hit. I understand that. Those are real things. But he knows he's done. He knows he's done. He's just said, kill me. Absolutely kill me. And I'm like, buddy, you are spot on. That was all over. There was nothing you could do about that. That was coming last Christmas. What's your favorite tank and why? Let me know in the comments below because I, I'm i a firm believer. I still play a lot of Blitz. I don't do as many videos, but I still play a lot. It is like, it is the perfect game for an on-the-move person that loves strategy and gunplay and a bit of historical immersion. But what tank floats your boat what tank makes your socks roll up and down for me at t10 these these really are the three tanks these are the ones like that really i i expressly jump in and drive whenever i get the chance look after yourselves guys as always uh we'll finish this one with the mastery in the in the fe4202 um stay safe on the battlefield look after yourself don't don't eat the yellow snow. Be nice to your mum and uh, just lock up and stay in with the rest of us. Until next time, bye for now.